that, we start our tour of Dr. Flea's Flea Market, Highway 27 and Albion Road in Northwest Toronto. Uh, I think it's called Rexdale or North Etobicoke in any case. This is uh, some of the view from the outside. It's uh, multiple sections. It used to include what's called the farmer's market and the first choice furniture, uh, but it's shrunk a little bit since the early days. They had a number of vendors outdoors. It was uh, autumn weather. It wasn't the hottest time. It wasn't a total chill either. So there's various glasswares offered there. You'll see new products and old. Here's the bicycle. It was outdoors. Yeah, the bike was in beautiful condition. I didn't look at the price. Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Pop. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. And here we are still on the outside, just heading in. This there's a bit of a seating area for a group of food stall kind of places. There isn't a particularly one front door to this place. It's got multiple doors in and out. We just went past the public washrooms there. And then you see these, this sign, anti-counterfeiting, Louis Vuitton. Yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of these places are actually selling brand new stuff, but it does make for an interesting cross-cultural visit because there's uh, some folks from the Indian subcontinent area. There are uh, Europeans, maybe some Far Eastern ones, such as the Russians operating in here. Um, you get into some of the Filipino. There is one heck of a admixture of folks selling and buying in this in this flea market then there's also the ones who sell the used items or nearly new if somebody wants to call them that that's not just hard goods they have services they have food not just ready-made food but there's also food that you take home and you cook it up at home so like I said it's a fair-sized place it really had its heyday before the Sunday shopping in Ontario was permitted that was when um, this is the only kind of place you could go to on a Sunday to go shopping at that time, the flea market building had the entire structure and gradually over time it uh, reduced itself, some of which they rented out themselves, some of which they just let go back to the landlord. Uh, electronics, jewelry, clothing. So yes, there's a whole hodgepodge. Some of it is um, like perfumes, maybe electronic bits and pieces, uh, cell phone repair shops. So you get all sorts of these things in one place. Yeah, 
There's some things that there's probably less on the up and up, but hey, that's the way it is. And here we are, we're just gonna continue going through the various aisles that are inside. And there's a lot of aisles. It really is a feast for eyes to have all these wild and varied items spread throughout. There's a couple of booths that may be empty or not didn't show up for this day, but there, those are few and far between. The place is hopping. It's got a, a strong, active vibe with lots of people showing up. There's a couple there. There's one booth that was closed, I should say. And as I said earlier, this is mostly brand new material, new stuff. Too much in the way of second hand. There's a lot of repetitious stuff in that you've got multiple sellers for things like cell phones, cell phone cases, a number of places are selling clothing, pieces of art. And it starts looking very similar. But between having all of these places, I'm sure you can do a nice bit of haggling and I wouldn't be surprised if these folks didn't somewhat expect a certain amount of haggling to be conducted. another entrance just a door on the side of the building nothing fancy but the building it's just a plain outer sh box that's provided to the it's either owned by or rented by the landlord and then they make some rudimentary subdivisions in on the interior. I think this one had to do some modifications to fire alarm systems and fire suppression systems to allow for this kind of a use. City of Toronto is pretty, pretty hard about those kind of things. Rightfully so. It's a life safety issue. issue. I'm sure Toronto Board of Health is in there on a regular basis inspecting the food vendors as well. Not too many places that have furniture, but you saw one there. Quite a few that have the artwork. I'm not sure if those were saris, but it's very possible. And 
carpets. Here's some more carpets. And no, we have not repeated any aisle as of uh, as of this point. Maybe short sections across aisle just to get from one to the next, but that's about it. There's some East Asian for women's fashion that you saw briefly there. And sometimes the uh, the aisle has an unusual starting point as you saw there. Partly because of the pillar and so on and so forth. The pillar I think may have been right about in the middle of the aisle as you see here. And they just didn't want to do that. And here we go outside. There's a bit of a furniture shop there. And I thought this was part of the flea market. Well, it is, but it's all one shop. And we're back outside. Here you find some of the used items. So, uh, you know, a trailer selling food. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, appreciate if you give us a thumbs up and a, a subscribe, maybe even a tinkle on the bell so you'll be notified of the next one. Thanks. A lot, folks. Bye-bye.